You're not the only one replacing a car battery every three years. Most drivers do it without even realizing their old one wasn't really dead. But here's the shocking part. With a simple routine, that same battery could have lasted up to 15 years. Yes, seriously. Fifth, automakers and dealerships won't tell you this because, let's be honest, early battery failure means more service visits and more sales for them. But the truth is, if you follow a few smart habits that real mechanics use on their own cars, your battery could actually outlive your vehicle. And stay tuned till the end. I'll share a 60-second test that tells you instantly whether your battery will make it through the next winter or leave you stranded in the worst possible moment. Secret number one, the desulfation trick. Mechanics don't talk about. When your battery's voltage drops below 12.4 volts, tiny sulfate crystals start forming on the lead plates inside. Over time, those crystals grow and block the chemical reactions your battery needs to hold a charge. Most people think that means the battery's dead, but that's not always true. Here's what experienced techs do. They use a desulfating charger, not a regular one. Models like the Noco Genius 10, Battery Minder 28 CEC1, or C-Tech MXS 5.0 send special high-frequency pulses into the battery that dissolve those crystals and bring it back to life. Fleet mechanics who work on police cars and heavy trucks use this method all the time, and their batteries often last 10 years or more, even under constant load. If you run a reconditioning cycle once or twice a year, you can keep your battery's plates clean and strong for a very long time. Secret number two, the temperature rule most drivers ignore. Here's something most people don't realize. Heat, not cold, is what kills batteries fastest. For every 15 Befidere rise above 77 Befidere, your battery's lifespan gets cut in half. That means a battery in Texas or Arizona can wear out twice as fast as the same one in Minnesota. Why? Because high heat speeds up chemical reactions inside the battery and causes fluid loss, which weakens the plates. Cold just slows things down temporarily, but heat does permanent damage. The fix, park in the shade whenever possible. Avoid long idling on hot days. Heat builds up under the hood. Keep your battery vents clean so gases can escape properly. And if you live in a cold climate, wrap your battery with thermal insulation to help it start easier and stay at a stable temperature. Even something as simple as parking smartly and keeping those vents open can make your battery last years longer. Secret number three, avoid short trips under 10 minutes. If you're constantly driving short distances like quick runs to the store or school, your battery is silently suffering. Each time you start your car, the starter motor draws a huge burst of power around 100-200 amps. If you shut off the engine before the alternator has time to recharge it, the battery never gets back to full strength. Over time, that constant partial charging is called microcycling, and it's one of the biggest killers of both standard and AGM batteries. The fix. After a cold start, let the engine run at least 15 to 20 minutes, or combine your errands into one longer trip. If most of your drives are short, consider switching to a deep cycle AGM battery, which can handle frequent charging and discharging much better. A few minutes of extra drive time can easily add years to your battery's lifespan. Secret number four, clean and protect your battery terminals every six months. You've probably seen that white or green crust around your battery terminals. That's corrosion caused by acid vapors reacting with the metal. It might look harmless, but it quietly adds resistance, making it harder for your starter to turn the engine and for your alternator to recharge the battery. Even a thin layer of corrosion can drop your voltage by 0.2 to 0.3 volts, which is enough to keep the battery from fully charging every time you drive. The fix is easy and cheap. Always disconnect the negative terminal first. Mix one tablespoon of baking soda with a cup of warm water. Scrub the terminals gently using an old toothbrush dipped in the solution. Rinse with clean water and dry it off completely. Finally, coat the metal lightly with petroleum jelly or dielectric grease to keep moisture out. It's the same simple trick mechanics have been using for decades, and it prevents slow voltage loss that shortens battery life. Secret number five, check for hidden power drains. Even when your car's turned off, some systems still draw power, like dash cameras, alarm systems, or USB ports that stay active. A small draw of around 50 milliamps is normal, but many cars have hidden issues that cause much higher drains, especially if aftermarket electronics were installed incorrectly. Here's how to test it. Disconnect the negative terminal of your battery. 
Set your multimeter to DC amps and connect it in line between the cable and the terminal. Wait 10-15 minutes for the car's systems to go into sleep mode. If the reading is higher than 0.05 amps, something is draining your battery. Pull fuses one by one until the reading drops. That's how you find the problem. Technicians often find culprits like dash cams, GPS trackers, or glove box lights that stay on 20. Fixing one bad circuit like that can literally add years to your battery's life. Secret number six, keep your voltage in the sweet spot. Your battery's health depends a lot on voltage. When your engine is running, your car's electrical system should stay between 13.8 and 14.4 volts. If it's too low, the alternator isn't charging properly. If it's too high, the battery can overheat and wear out fast. Low voltage, under 13.5 volts, often means weak connections, corrosion, or a loose belt. High voltage, over 14.8 volts, can cause internal damage by boiling the battery's electrolyte. Here's the fix. Get a cheap $10 plug-in voltmeter for your cigarette lighter, or use a digital multimeter. Check the reading with the engine off. It should be around 12.6 volts and on between 13.8 and 14.4 volts. If the numbers are outside that range, inspect your alternator and voltage regulator. Small charging issues can cut battery life in half. Keeping your battery in the voltage sweet zone helps it stay strong for years. Secret number seven, never disconnect the battery while the engine's running. Back in the old days, people would test the alternator by removing the battery terminal while the engine was on. That used to work, but in modern vehicles, it's a disaster waiting to happen. When you disconnect a live battery, it can send voltage spikes up to 100 volts through the system. That can fry expensive components like your ECU infotainment system and alternator diodes. The correct way to test, use a multimeter instead. With the engine running, measure voltage across the terminals. If it reads 13.8 to 14.4 volts, your alternator is doing its job. Never pull off the cables while the car is running. The repair bill for the damage could easily cost more than the alternator itself. Secret Nun 8. The Weekly Wake-Up Routine Most car batteries don't die because they're old. They die from sitting too long. Even when your car is off, systems like the clock, alarm, and computer keep drawing small amounts of power. Over time, that parasitic drain slowly pulls your battery voltage below 12.4 volts, which is where sulfation begins. Sulfation is when tiny crystals form on the battery plates, blocking the chemical reactions that keep it charged. Once that buildup starts, the battery loses strength and can't recover. Here's how to stop it. Take your car for a 20-minute drive at least once a week, ideally at highway speeds. That allows the alternator to fully recharge the battery and reverse early sulfation. If your car sits for long periods like a classic or weekend car, use a smart battery maintainer such as the NOCO Genius 2 or SeaTech MXS 500. These devices safely charge and condition your battery automatically. Just this simple routine can double or even triple your battery's lifespan. Secret 9 Protect the Battery from Vibration Not many people realize this, but vibration is a silent battery killer. Every bump or pothole your car hits shakes the internal battery plates. Over time, that movement weakens the welds and can cause short circuits or cracks inside the battery. Here's the fix. Make sure your battery is always securely fastened down. If you drive on rough roads or off-road trails, use a foam pad or rubber base underneath the battery. It helps absorb vibration and heat. Even small shocks over time can reduce a battery's lifespan by 20 to 40% according to studies by Delphi Automotive Systems. A few minutes spent securing your battery could save you hundreds in replacements down the road. Secret number 10. Keep the electrolyte levels just right. If your car uses a traditional, flooded late acid battery, you've got to keep an eye on the electrolyte level. Inside the battery are lead plates sitting in a mix of acid and water. When that fluid level drops too low, especially in hot climates, the plates are exposed to air and start to corrode. That leads to internal damage, cracking, and oxidation that slowly kill the battery from the inside out. Here's how to fix it safely. Remove the vent caps carefully. Look inside each cell. The fluid should just cover the top of the plates. If it's low, add only distilled water, never tap water. Don't overfill and always wear gloves. The acid inside can burn your skin. Doing this every few months can easily extend your battery's life by five years or more. Secret number 11. Disconnect or maintain during long storage. 
If you've got a car that sits for months, maybe a weekend cruiser or a classic you only drive occasionally, your battery is slowly draining even when nothing's running. Think of it like leaving your phone plugged into a tiny power draw all day every day. Within two or three weeks, that slow drain can pull the battery below 11.8 volts, where permanent sulfation starts. Here's what to do. If you won't drive for more than two weeks, disconnect the negative terminal or use a smart maintainer that automatically charges and rests the battery in safe cycles. Never store a battery directly on cold concrete. It speeds up self-discharge. Instead, place it on wood or rubber to keep it insulated. Even brand new batteries can die fast if they're left sitting and connected too long. This step alone prevents that silent damage and keeps your battery ready whenever you are. Secret Gen 12, heat is worse than cold. Most people think cold weather kills batteries. And while freezing temps make starting harder, heat is the real silent killer. In hot climates, the liquid inside a battery evaporates faster and the heat speeds up internal corrosion. Over time, that destroys the plates and weakens the charge. That's why batteries in southern states like Texas, Arizona, or Florida usually last two to three years, while the same brand in cooler areas can last up to five years. Here's how to protect it. Park in the shade whenever possible. Use an insulated battery cover if your car didn't come with one. Avoid long idling in extreme heat. It bakes the battery in underhood components. A simple habit like parking smart can literally double your battery's life in warm regions. Secret number 13. Clean and protect the terminals. Battery corrosion doesn't just look ugly, it acts like rust, blocking power flow. That green or white buildup you see on the terminals means resistance. And resistance means wasted energy. Even a small layer of corrosion can cause slow cranking, dim lights, or random electrical issues. Here's how to fix it. Mix a little baking soda and water and scrub the terminals with a small brush or old toothbrush. Rinse with clean water and dry it off. Finish by applying a light layer of dielectric grease or petroleum jelly to prevent new corrosion. Do this every few months, especially before summer, and your battery will deliver stronger, cleaner power for years. Bonus trick. Trick, memory saver. If you ever replace your car battery, here's a pro tip that most people forget, and it can save you hours of frustration. Modern cars have dozens of electronic settings, radio presets, seat positions, idle memory, transmission learning data, and even throttle calibration. When you disconnect the battery, all that can reset or get erased. To avoid this, plug in a 12 volt memory saver. It connects through the OBD port or cigarette lighter. It keeps just enough power flowing while you swap batteries, so your car remembers everything once the new one's in. It's a small detail that separates a quick, clean battery change from a frustrating reset mess. Your car's battery is more than just a power source. It's the heart of the electrical system. If you give it a little care with the steps we covered, driving it weekly, checking voltage, cleaning corrosion, and managing heat, you can easily turn a two-year battery into a five-year powerhouse. A few minutes of attention now saves you hundreds later. Because in the end, reliability starts before you even turn the key.